What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today people, we're going to be looking at the full list for the weapons category here in Ghost Recon's Wildlands. And by the way, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more because there's going to be more Ghost Recon Wildlands coming up in the future. So anyways, here's the loadout screen. As you can see, you can have two primary weapons and a backup pistol. So here's the list. As you can see, there's already some great weapons you know, to look for, like for example, the P90, the Spaz, the Saz, the AK-12, the AUG, the MP7, also available is the ACR, the Type 95, um, what's another weapon, the Scorpion Evil, Stoner LMGs, the MP40, like a lot of weapons available for you. The MPX is up there too, I just saw it right now, and a lot of great snipers too. So it's going to be an all-out war in this game, completing some missions, it's going to be amazing. Also, some certain weapons do have a logo next to them. That means the only way you can unlock them is by defeating some of the bosses, I believe. If not, you guys can correct me on that, but as far as I look at it, I think you gotta... The only way you can unlock them is by defeating some of the main bosses of the game. But anyways, moving on to the handgun section, as you can see, in, uh, Scorpion, the Santa Blanca Scorpion is actually a, li a little SMG, so that kind of qualifies as a backup weapon, and also there's another, there's like two SMGs, several pistols, but the only noticeable one that I like is the D50, because that one's the Deagle. I mean, come on, man, that gun is like a, literally like a one-shot kill, man, look at all that damage. God damn. So anyways, that's the full list guys. If you guys enjoyed the list, then leave a like on the video. And also, let me show you guys some of the drones. As you can see, EMP, Noisemaker, Medic. Uh, pretty sure most of you guys are going to be using the standard drones since that one's going to be easy to, uh, more easy to detect the enemies. And uh, another stuff available for you guys is the customization of the weapons. It actually goes deeper compared to the Division. And the Division, you can only customize the sights, the, the mag, and also the... Uh, I, I believe the muzzle that's about it and also you can customize the camel in this game uh, you can customize everything the scope the stock the trigger the trigger especially like what the hell there's more triggers than just a regular ass trigger uh, the barrel you can customize everything about this gun so I believe every time you complete a mission you should be able to unlock more parts for your weapon so that's gonna be amazing to be looking for in the game and why to complete missions too so and also here's the camels guys available for you guys in the beta a lot of camels 43 camels available for you guys compared to the division which only had like 20 and also compared to other games like call of duty they only have like around 10 nowadays i mean this is a lot of freaking camels so that's it people if you guys want to see more ghost recon wildlands please leave a like on the video and also subscribe for more it's going to be a lot more stuff coming up gameplays mission completions more cutscenes. you know i'll be uploading everything for the game because it looks amazing to me and i'll be playing it every day 